From the skies above to the seas below, the color blue can prove a striking one in nature. Animals like blue-winged butterflies, blue tangs, even blue jays get their color from clever structures woven into their feathers and scales, but blueberries don't exactly have either of those features. So what's the deal? One of the funny things about blueberries is that when you squish them and you get a bit of juice on your fingers, that like when it first comes out of the blueberry, it's it's kind of like a sort of purpley red, and it really isn't that that sort of dusky blue color that you associate with blueberries. Rox Middleton at the University of Bristol recently led a team to get the answer once and for all. If you rub the outside of the blueberry, then that that sort of coating on the outside that comes off, and that is epicuticular wax. And epicuticular just means epi, like outside of the cuticle. When you dissolve that wax, even that doesn't stay blue. So the team looked deeper, or in this case, thinner. So we looked uh, to see what the structures were, uh, where it's where the length scale is about the same as a wavelength of light. Turns out there are a bunch of little structures packed into that microns thick waxy layer, and that's where scattering comes in. So it's not that there's a blue pigment in the wax, but the wax itself sort of interacts with light to reflect blue and UV light uh, and to let all of the other color pass through. And then the other color passes through to the pigments underneath, like the dark pigments inside the blueberry and just gets absorbed. That light interaction differs from other natural blues. And lots of these colors that you get in nature, say if you're looking at um, magpie wings or something like that, like a shim or shimmery butterflies, there's a really, really high degree of order. Um, and these just don't have that order. The shapes themselves are not, or are not ordered with respect to each other. So then they're randomly sort of jumbled on the on the surface of the of the fruit. Waxes don't dissolve in water, but different solvents like chloroform allowed the team to take the fruit for a bath and remove that coating. A specially built machine at TU Dresden some 700 miles away then allowed those waxes to be recrystallized and tested. Sure enough, and it did go blue and obviously that was just super exciting because it was like Okay, it's real. It's not just like a, a thing that, you know, could be true. It's really true. Like, there it is. The hope is this natural discovery unlocks new, safer, artificial applications. There are lots of things that these wax surfaces do in nature, which we don't even know. There's real potential there for using it as coatings and also like a colorant. But this colorant isn't going to stain anything and doesn't require any special molecules. For this week's Moment of Science, I'm Dan Smith.